Good afternoon, guys. Um, so today we're just going to be making a presentation about how Garfield functions, you know, with our spirit and classes and clubs and all that. And this presentation is called The One and Only Garfield, since we are unique as a school. At Garfield, we value our diversity. And, and the first photo displays our spring pep rally. The topic of the day was diversity. As you can see, our students are well-rounded. They come from all different sorts of countries around the world. So yeah, we're a very diverse school. Like Brandon just said, we're really proud of our diversity and we feel very um, passionate about it. We think it's one of the things that makes us a unique school. And as you can see in the graph, that's our students' diversity. Uh, the majority of them are Hispanic, but then we have like a lot of races as well. We have white, we have black, African-American, Asians, and American Indians and Alaskans. We have Pacific Islanders. And then we have like two or more that were not listed. At Garfield, we offer the International Baccalaureate Program, AKA the ID Program, which offers our advanced college classes for students wishing to partake in that. And then we have the plumbing program um, the Marines Jun Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps, the Environmental Engineering Program, Project Lead the Way, and then our two law and pub public safety sectors of military science, criminal justice, and lastly, our HVAC system. So one big thing at Garfield is pretty much giving back to the community. So, well, the community itself is like a really big thing, but giving back is more like the cherry on top. And as students, we are able to have this opportunity of giving back through the clubs and programs that we participate through. So like, for example, I know that Key Club, they have um, made toys for dogs at the animal shelters. And I know that they've done like Operation Turkey where they collect like canned goods for families that are in need for the time of Thanksgiving. And like JROTC does a lot of like community service, volunteering hours, things like that. And I know Recycling Club, recycling, they, they pretty much recycle throughout the school, which kind of makes a big impact for like the community itself because we can influence them to recycle and just pretty much do good. I know Green Club, they like, they plant a lot throughout the school. So I know that that way they, they do make an impact because it's, you know, making the world a little bit more greener. And so the quote that says, be the change you want to see, pretty much is like a, I wouldn't say, I don't wanna say a saying, but it's like our motto, I guess, at Garfield, which pretty much like says, uh, be the change you want to see, the leader you want to believe, the student for your own education and the friend that you need. Make, a, make an impact in and out of school and be the leader you were born to be. So I usually, they usually say that in like the morning announcements to kind of remind you like, this is what Garfield is, you know, we are a community that, you know, that likes to give back. And that's what makes us like a very special place. And so like these are pictures of like students that are volunteering and in the picture on the left, that's Mr. Bass, like the students usually help him out because um, I know he's our IV coordinator but he's also very involved with other things such as like Ghana and the library that has been built in Ghana. So I know like the library over the years has like, there have been a bunch of book donations, like I wanna say more than a thousand throughout the years. And it's with the help of Mr. Bassett and the students as well, because students are actually the ones that donate the books. And I know that the Ghana library started out through someone's CAS project. So I know like CAS is like community service kind of thing. And so that's what her project was and it actually succeeded. And so now they have a library and they have books so that kids from Ghana can actually have access to it. And I know that Mr. Bassa, like every year he does like internationally, which is like an event, you know, celebrating everybody's culture. But the money actually goes to Ghana and towards the library and so that the kids can have, you know, more access or, you know, better books, anything like that. So I know like when you do go to like these kinds of events, you're having fun and you're like spending your money on, you know, spending time with your friends. 
you're not only doing that, you're also like giving back to others because that money doesn't just like go to Garfield, it goes to like other people who are in need. So like, I encourage you guys to keep like going because you are making an impact and you're like, you really, you really are helping Garfield. Yeah. So this slide right here, where it's, I'm just gonna explain to you guys, you know, how our school spirit functions in Garfield. If we go by ourselves at the School of Champions. So that picture on the top left corner is, was this year's uh, pep rally, the last pep rally we had this year. And it's basically uh, our superintendent of Prince William, Dr. Steve Oltz is holding our spirit stick, which is a little competition we have every pep rally to see which class, whether it's the seniors, the juniors, the sophomores, or the freshmen have the best spirit. And in this case, Dr. Steve Waltz presented the spirit stick to the seniors of that year. And the picture to the right of that was our class at the time, the juniors, you know, repping the red that day. And we all got together to take a picture. And then the one before that, beneath that is the seniors, you know, before doing their junior pictures. And then the one on the top uh, left, right, are the class of 2020, 22 you know, getting together to celebrate the day in which we all wear, you know, characters like you can see Mike and Sully, you can see Mean Girls, right? And the one below that is the spirit day, which we just wore comfy clothes and we all got together wearing whatever clothes you thought were comfy. So the high school experience. So as all the other officers already explained, guys, we have a lot of things that make high school fun. It's just up to you whether you want to like participate in it and enjoy it. Like Eric explained, we have Spirit Week where we have like a lot of like different days in which we dress up and we have fun. We also, like Julissa said, we have International Night where everybody shows off their culture and this includes dances, clothing, food. It's pretty fun. And of course, we have our football games and our basketball games. And it's really fun to get together with your friends and go and cheer them on. And we also have homecoming. During homecoming uh, week, we do like, we do a spear week and we do like certain stuff where we dress up. And also girls and guys have the opportunity to run for homecoming court, which is homecoming queen and king. So yeah, guys, it's just, like I said, high school can be fun. It's just up to you guys to like take those opportunities and be part of it. Another thing that makes Garfield unique is basically at the end of the day is us, the students, us and you guys. We all is what make Garfield unique. So we want to tell you guys a little bit about ourselves, what we do outside of SEA. And well, me personally, I do JRTC, which Brandon explained is the is one of the college opportunities that we have as part of a program that if you're interested, you can pursue the military after high school. And if not, you can just join for the fun of it. Like we do community events and it just like builds your character and stuff. So personally, I would encourage you guys to give it a try. Next, we have me. That is me right there. My name is Eric Arviaga. I'm the vice president. So, in that picture, you guys can tell I don't know. I'm a funny guy. That's why right. I'm a funny guy. So, yeah. But other than me just hanging out with friends, you know, goofing around, I, I try hard in school. I'm in IB, you know, my grades are good. So, there is time for you to have fun and then still at the same time to succeed in your education. So that's something you guys should, you know, work on as, you know, rising freshmen try to find a balance between your social life and your, and your educational life. Because at the end of the day, it's important to have fun and, you know, get good grades. And then next we have Julie. Okay, so I'm part of the marching band. So I'm very like musical. I'm not just in the marching band. I'm also a part of orchestra. So I know like IB is very like critical. You work a lot on your critical thinking. But what I like is how the music programs, they also allow you to be very creative, especially with the teachers. They give you a lot of freedom because I know like Garfield, they do want to make sure that students are not like very stressed or they still like allowed to have their you know, creative side um, kind of like grow as well. And so I encourage you guys to, you know, um, like not just like think critical, but creative as well. 
you want like theater or music or whatever makes you happy pretty much art anything that like kind of um like trains that other side of your brain <laughs> so yeah like i encourage you guys to join marching band because really do need marching band people or orchestra people band whatever the case may be choir yeah i like encourage you guys to do like to try all of that too oh next we have brandon so something that I'm really passionate about outside of SCA is rowing. So this year will be my third year of rowing and it's just, it's such an amazing sport. Like I'm so glad that I got into it. You know, my friends are like, oh, do it, do it. It's just, it's a mind sport. It really pushes you to think and focus. And I think that's really helped me become a better student and a better person throughout school. So, I mean, if you guys are interested, you guys should definitely try out for sure, are just like, not even rowing, just branch out in high school, because I never would have expected myself to be an athlete in high school, so just go for it. So yeah, guys, basically what I want to tell you is that just enjoy high school, take advantage of the opportunities, and you don't have to just be one thing. You can be in your to see what you're also doing, crew, and being part of the marching band. You can just do anything you want. It's just a matter of like doing it, taking the first step, like walk out of your comfort zone and just have fun. You won't regret it. Yeah. 